Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Tash. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I think I'm going to do something different. We are actually going to do kind of like a two in one, but I am going to do something a little bit different on my end while I'm recording. But first of all, we are going to play with several new eyeshadow palettes as well as eyeshadow palettes that are still technically new, but I've only featured on my channel once. I will leave everything down below for you guys to know what I am using shade-wise. But I am finally getting around to doing the Tatcha versus e.l.f. primer. So on this half of my face, I'm going to use the Tatcha primer. And on this half of my face, I'm going to use the e.l.f. So before we get into things, I just want to mention again, we do have some new subscribers. What's up, guys? I hope you guys are enjoying the content thus far. Leave me a comment down below. Say hello. Say what's up. If you have any questions or anything as well, please leave a comment down below. I would love to an answer any questions you may have. Um, if you are new here, please let me know how you stumbled across this video, and I hope that you will subscribe and hit that bell notification before you leave. Without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get into some makeup. Alright, you guys, first things first, I have already went in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer, and now we are going to go in on my left side of my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Honestly, you guys, I have not used this primer since I started using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just because that one's more moisturizing. And, of course, you know, we'll get into all of that in just a second. I'm just going to take about this much. Sorry, I don't mean to flip you guys off. <laughs> no, I really don't. Um, I am only going to use this in the areas where I feel that I need pore coverage because that's what I've been doing lately with the e.l.f. Primer. Um is trying to focus it more on those areas even though I've been using it all over my face but for today's video we are just going to use it on those board areas so I am taking um, a little bit and I'm just putting it right here on my cheek and then I also go up a little bit on my forehead and on my nose now what I have been doing lately is letting my e.l.f. poreless putty primer sit just for a little bit on my skin you can also start out with it on the back of your hand um, because you want to let that product warm up a little bit but for me this is I'm taking a different finger as well for me this is how it works better to really um, you know kind of camouflage my pores in my opinion this is how it has been working the best is to let it sit there for a little bit and to be fair, I'm going to dip in and get a little bit more of that Tatcha primer for my forehead and my nose. If my dogs start barking, I apologize. The neighbor dog is outside barking, and that usually gets my babies going. So, All right, you guys. So for just a few more seconds, I'm going to let this sit and warm up on my face, and then we are going to get to blending. All right, you guys, so generally, I will let this sit for a good four to five minutes. Now, four, five, either way, they both work. Um, and again, all it does is kind of let that warm up on the face a little bit, and then you're going to want to start pressing. Anything that won't press into your skin, you can rub it a little bit, but pressing is what really, in my opinion, helps to fill those pores in nicely to where you don't see them. So I'm going to take my middle finger, which is what I used for the Tatcha side, and we're going to go in and start pressing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my pointer finger that I used for the e.l.f. primer and begin pressing. The one thing I noticed as far as the difference of these two primers is that the Tatcha one is more matte and more of a thicker consistency. And the e.l.f. one is more creamy and more hydrating. Oops, wrong finger. The one thing that I will tell you guys is that if you have dry skin like me, you want to moisturize very well. Even if you use the e.l.f. one, I still moisturize pretty well. Just on those areas of my face that are really dry, like my nose. Because 
even though this is a moisturizing primer, it's still going to just a little bit emphasize dry. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like right here, I've had some acne, and it's been from trying all these different products on my skin. Um, and so I've had this here that will not go away. Um, excuse me. And just from exfoliating my face in that, it has become a little bare, and so it keeps scabbing over, and um, it's emphasizing a little bit of that dry, but it's not so bad that it's like, oh my god, I don't want to use that, you know what I mean? So, I will tell you guys right off the bat, I feel like the L side does a better job for me personally of filling in my pores. Um... I feel like it blends out better. I like that it's more hydrating over here. Um, the Tatcha side is good too. It's just that, like if this area of my face were dry right here, right now, it would be emphasizing all kinds of that dry stuff. And as far as the Tatcha on my nose, it honestly, like I do not like using it on my nose. Because it'll emphasize dry spots that I didn't even know were there. So... I think you guys can tell when it comes to the Touch of the Silk Canvas Primer and the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Whoop, my bra is sticking out. Excuse me. Um, I think you guys can tell what I prefer. I, I And I'm not even going to make you wait. I prefer the Elf side. Um, I do like this one, but I think what I'm going to do with this one is save it for, you know, um, occasions where I really need my makeup to last throughout the day. Not that this one doesn't do that, but just because this one's so expensive and because, um, I think that because this one makes my skin a little matte, I think that this would work for me better in the summertime, whereas this one is perfect for me all year round. So, if you guys have any questions and, or, or I forgot to say anything, please comment down below. I know part of my squad will. I call y'all my squad. I call this squad. So, I know some of you will say something down below, which, thank you guys. I love talking to you in the comments. I really do. Um, but yeah, if I'm forgetting to say anything, please let me know. This one is $52. This one is $8. And ride or die, this is going to be my baby right here. So that is my take on that. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face. We're going to go ahead and get into some foundation. And we're going to play with some makeup today, y'all. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. What I'm going in with today is the e.l.f. Flawless, uh, excuse me, the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Back here so you guys can see. I use mine in the shade Sand. I have been re-loving this again lately. It is super, super beautiful. And it gives me this nice satin finish. So I just put that on my Wet n Wild sponge. Also been loving this lately. Just thought maybe I'd get on and we would do a full face. It's been a while since I've done this with you guys. And I'll be honest, kind of feeling guilty. So thought that we would play with some makeup and have some girl time. Hopefully y'all are doing your makeup. So what have you guys tried out that's new lately? And have you tried out anything because of my recommendation? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you have, are you loving it?
Alright you guys, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and kind of smooth out some areas. Um, I did build this up to get a better coverage. For some reason today, in my opinion, I don't think it is on your guys' end, but it looks a little light on the viewfinder, but it's not. This is the color I've been wearing for years. And then in the winter, or excuse me, the summertime, I would always switch over to the shade Buff, which I think they have since renamed. Right, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Define. Lately, I have been really using what is working for me, and this one I love. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of the Maybelline Master Conceal, or excuse me, Master Camo in yellow. I really like that. I feel like it really brightens up the under eye. I am going to get this Milani Conceal and Define in another shade, because I want it um, just, excuse me guys, just a shade a little darker, like one shade darker. I think I'm starting to get over the super bright under eye. Or, you know, like some days I want a super bright under eye and some days I don't. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get it in another shade. Are you guys still doing the super bright under eye or are you over it? I concealed most of my nose because I have a breakout going on right here and later you won't even notice that I did that. I just wanted to point that out. Yes, I did do that. On peppers. Oh, to any of you guys closer to my age, um, what is something vitamin C wise that you guys would recommend? Um, I want to start getting into, I mean, I have some anti-aging skincare, but I want to start getting into some more, but I want like a really good vitamin C serum. What do you guys recommend? I'm going to go into this Physicians Formula Youth Wear um, Brightening Powder, I think it is. Youth Boosting Powder and Translucent. This does have an illuminating finish and I'm really enjoying this on my under eye. So, I'm actually gonna try to take um, a beauty blender and press it and see what it does. Tried that yet. So far I don't think it looks bad. I mean the powder itself is beautiful. Um, and it was weird because when I was reading the reviews online, and I mean, we all have different perspectives on what makeup does for us and doesn't do, but people were saying that it made it look like they had glitter on their face. One lady was even like, it makes me look like a disco ball. And I'm like, I don't see any of that. Like, I don't, it doesn't, it has shimmer in it, but it doesn't full on look like a disco ball. It just gives you this really nice illuminating cast in my opinion but you know maybe her skin was different than mine going in with my BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro powder in the shade 230 I have really been enjoying this the last few days it was in one of my boxes so I wasn't using it as much as I was using uh, the Physicians Formula Healthy Powder and of course my Ride or Die powder I need to do a shot my stash video because I'm not even using my older stuff recently and I don't want to get into where I'm forgetting to use my other makeup and then it's sitting there going bad. So I've been thinking about doing a um, like a no buy for a couple of months but I'm going to be honest I don't think I can do it. I really don't. I was watching one of the girls that I'm subscribed to and she's doing awesome. Like, super proud of her from one makeup addict to another because I really don't know if I can do it, you guys. And then I'm like, well, 
are they still gonna watch my channel if I'm not putting out, um, you know, new makeup in that? Like, it's kind of a scary thought, actually. So, you guys let me know what you think. If I stop buying new releases for a while and I'm still putting out content, like, are you guys still gonna be cool with that? Let me know. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move into the e.l.f. 16-hour uh, Camel Concealer. I've been using it as an eye primer, and I have been living. But first, I gotta spray my face. And we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I have zoomed you in. Bam, hello! <laughs> Sorry to make a joke. Um, I'm trying to get in frame better. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs Palette as well as the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Zodiac Palette. And I think I have come up with a look that you guys will enjoy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start blending. I will leave the shade names down below just because it takes longer to hold the palette up. I hope you guys don't mind. I love y'all. So. I'm going to start off by going in to the shade Cancer, and again, I am using the Zodiac Love Signs Palette. Now, this is a matte, kind of a um, mustardy shade. We're just going to go in and use that as my transition. Not going to blend that one out too much. I really wanted to pack that little bit of a punch. Hope you guys can see okay. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush and go into the matte shade Leo. All I did off a of camera was prime my eyes. If you guys have not tried this yet, you are missing out. It is such a good palette. And as you guys can see, the colors are nicely pigmented. If you guys want, I will leave a link down below for BH. It is an affiliate link. Um, so don't feel like you have to use it. But they always have really, really good sales. So whatever sale they're having at the time, I will link a code down for that. But um, you guys can check this palette out then. And most likely get it on sale without paying full price. I mean, they're super affordable anyways. But you guys know I'm always honest with you about what's an affiliate link and what's not. Alright, so now I'm going to take a more detailed brush. If I can find the one I'm looking for. Since I can't. <laughs> We're gonna use this a little Flower Beauty one. It's just super precise. And I'm gonna go into the shade, I'm sorry. My ring light's bouncing off this palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Taurus. And that is like a, kind of a darker chocolatey brown. And I'm just gonna start out right here. Now this may get a little messy. But stick with me, guys. You know it always works out in the end. And you guys, I apologize by starting this eye. It's out of habit. I'm actually going to start doing one eye on camera and the other one off. Because I think it's going to cut down on some of that uh, extra, you know, wasted time in the videos. something's missing on just a second so quickly I'm gonna put down a little bit of my NYX glitter glue you only want to use a super tiny bit of this stuff I've had this tube the same tube for y'all <laughs> a long time it's still good it's just you really only need a tiny tiny bit of this stuff just putting that on my lid 
because the shade that I'm gonna go in with is more of like a pressed glitter and we really want it to stick excuse me you guys just one moment please if you guys hear my phone go off again my baby is on break since we started dating we talk at every one of his breaks He's such a sweetheart. I love my fiance to death, you guys. So I am going in with this kind of a yellowy, orangish kind of a shade here. Again, this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Palette um, in Zodiac. And I just saw a vision when I saw this color, you guys. And I hope that it is everything that I... Oh, wow. Girl. I hope it is everything that I thought the look would turn out to be. I really, really do. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot, I cannot wait to play with this color this summer when i am like super tan it is gonna pop that is gorgeous now i did get a little bit of shimmer up here it always happens i'm gonna leave that alone and so far for right now i think this is where i want to leave the eye so i'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera and i will be right back all right you guys zooming you back in really quickly i just finished the other eye so this is the look that I came up with so far. We're still working on it. And all I did off camera was I took the highlighting shade in here, which is this big, beautiful shade right here. And I put this on my brow bone. So pretty. And then I also mixed these three shades right here, this light one, the golder yellow one, and then this beautiful one that I put on my lid, and I put that in my inner corner. And now, and now, it is time to do the bottom lash line. So, what I am thinking is I kind of want to do a little bit of like orange and maybe a little bit of this shade right here that you can kind of clearly see is kind of infused a little bit in this goldy shade right here on my lid. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out just a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Virgo, just the matte shade in this BH Zodiac Love Signs palette right here on this brush and I'm going to go right down here on my lower lash line. If you guys hear snoring, my baby's over here. Well, my first baby's over here snoring. My other baby's over here snoring. I got two of them snoring on each side of me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take another brush and kind of buff this out a little bit. Just a tiny bit, nothing, you know, too, too serious. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of this color right here. I right here, right here, right here. I apologize, you guys, it does not have shade names on this CoverGirl palette. Now I'm going to attempt to put this in my waterline. We all know how that can go. Um, just say a prayer for me that my eyes don't start watering and start streaming down my face. <laughs> oh God, once you get that in the waterline though, girl, so pretty. So naturally, I think it is a great idea to take some brown eyeliner with a look like this. And you guys have all seen me doing liner before, so as soon as I am done with eyeliner and mascara, we will come back and finish the rest of my face. All right, you guys, so it is time to do some bronzer and some blush. 
one of my favorite parts of the video. Just dropped my blush, so excuse moi again. All right, so I'm just gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number one brush. I believe this is supposed to be their powder brush for the Royal Affair collection. To me, that's a small powder brush, but I like to use it for bronzer. And because right now I'm obsessed with this BH bronzer, this is their Brilliance Bronzer and Bronze Babe. I'm just gonna start um, doing all this here on my forehead. They have some really good bronzer, you guys. Now, this one's more my summer shade, but I didn't know that when I ordered it, so I'm still rocking with it because I really like uh, the color. I think it's really pretty. But, like, it's so deep that I can get away with this one for a contour as well. But yeah, I really, really, really like it. I think it's really pretty. Here's what it looks like. There, now you guys can kind of see the shade of it. So I'm thinking about, while well, I got y'all here, I'm thinking about getting another pair of studio lights that go on both sides of me, just so that this light here is not so like, bam, in your face. And, you know, then you guys would be able to see things much better. So, we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics. Um, this is the Nude Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. I love these blushes, you guys. And I think I'm going to go a little daring just because of the colors that we have on my eye. And I'm going to take this shade right here and mix it with the shade right next to it. I love mixing blushes. Oh, my God. I'm scared. All right, you guys, I'm actually going to mix it with one of these nude shades, too. And I'm just taking this shade here. Because these blushes, they're hella pigmented, and they don't play. So. I'm scared. Ooh, very pretty. I am going to have to buff this out a little bit. Because she real dark. But it's beautiful color. It really is. And all I'm doing is taking my powder brush and just kind of... You know, blending, 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 ladies. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. It is so pretty. So for highlight today, I think I'm going to reach into my highlighter drawer and use one that I haven't used for a while. So pardonnez-moi. Um, I have not used my Maybelline Master Chrome for a while. But... Let me see, you guys. That one's kind of... Well, you guys can't see it all the way back here, but... There we go. I think I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Rose Gold Butter Highlighter. Just because that one is more... Like, even though that's rose gold, this one is kind of like a different kind of rose gold. So it'll go with this better. Got a match. Oh my god, I wish you guys could see Bubby right now. That's my Shih Tzu. He's so freaking cute. And he like lays the cutest ways. He's working me right now, y'all. He knows he's cute. They both do. Alright. You guys, if you have not tried these Physician Formula highlighters, they are amazing. You talk about highlighters that just... You can wear them as subtle highlighters. You can wear them to bling out your face, like full-on glam bling. And they do not highlight the texture of my skin at all. They're so beautiful. I usually don't like to do my chin, but because these don't highlight texture, I don't mind it. I'm full on, feeling full on glam, and I ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm such a dork, you guys. I've been using the Anastasia Amrezy, um highlighter because of the, like, the compact because of the mirror. I could have just used that. <laughs> Sometimes that coffee be getting all up in my head, y'all. 
All right, you guys, so I'm gonna pick out a lippy, and I think I'm gonna keep it simple today and just go in with a lippy glouse. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, plumping gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. I do need to get some more shades. Um, because, you know, I've been using this one quite a bit, but it is so good, that's why. So... I also hope that you guys don't mind. I've been wearing my hair up to get ready because that's how I get ready. Like, I usually do my makeup first, my hair second. And as I started doing this, I was like, God, I hope they don't think I'm being lazy. But that's just how I get ready, so... Also, if you guys notice in, excuse me, I apologize for the snowmobiles. That country life, though. Um, if you guys notice in some of my videos that I have a generic intro, I apologize. It is literally because as I sat down to film, I jumped right into the video, and I forgot to film a intro at the end of the video. So, that's the reason for that. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And well, it's Monday now, I think. Yeah, today's Monday. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. So, this is the final look, you guys, that I came up with. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this look I did. I had so much fun creating it. This is so something that I cannot wait to rock and recreate in the summertime. Um, I was just feeling those summer vibes. Like, I'm, you know, give me some summer. I'm so over winter. I know you guys are too. And I'm not going to keep you guys any longer because I'm hoping that this video was actually, like, a good time. So... Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching another video of mine and supporting me and hanging out with me and talking to me and being my friend. That just sounded really like I don't have friends. That's totally not true. I have friends. I got, I got peoples. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just feeling super goofy. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate you. I will see you in my next one. And if you're new here, what's up? I'm Tosh. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button. Also the bell notification so that you are notified each time I upload, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and periodically and randomly throughout the week. I still have not decided on a day. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see, especially if you're new here. Right now I am trying to keep it focused the majority on drugstore because I want people to know how much goodness there is at the drugstore and yeah I will see you guys in my next video have an amazing day bye guys